What a fool am I. I really thought there wouldn't be another King's Monarch's Journey before Crusader Kings 3 released, but here we are. King Bazarab, and we'll just jump straight in as we used to. Reset everything here, except for turning these guys off. Then we want Iron Mode, Iron Man Mode, and off we go into the cloud. Let's start this thing. And as in previous ones, I have not... Okay, we start out with achieving silver in one of them. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's give this a look. Um, right, let's read them from top to bottom. Voivodes of Valachia. Tazrabat was the Voivode of Valachia before he became an independent ruler of the kingdom. Have as many dukes in your realm of your dynasty as you can. Bastards do not count unless legitimized. Progress continues for the dynasty, okay? So much at stake. With a character that has the impalers, trade, kill as many people as you can. Progress continues as for long as you play the featured ruler's dynasty. Castlemania have as many castles and royal palaces in your realm as possible. Each stage of a royal palace is worth three points. The royal palace must be active to count. Progress continues for the whole dynasty. Okay, so this one is at least not one where we're going to go absolutely crazy uh, with fear. Let's learn a little bit about him. Bazarab, the first of Valachia, was the first independent ruler of Valachia, becoming so after becoming disloyal to the Holy Crown of Hungary in. 1325. He founded the House of Basarab in 1310, which would later provide a line of princes that would include Vlad III, the Impaler. Alright, I don't even know how to get the Impaler trait, quite honestly. Let's flip over our map mode, and we are very small, surrounded by very, very big players. The smallest, next smallest thing we see is over here, this guy, this duke, with 1,300, we have a few more. Let's see, we are not an Impaler. We really need to figure out how we become a Impaler. There's Transylvania over there. Uh, let's see if we have any sensible war options around us. Force vassalization, can't do. Order dispute, can't afford, so only tributaries. But for that, we probably take this guy, brother. And we can only extort tribute, which is mm, not ideal. Alright, so how do we start out? Honestly, this is just going to be a game of growing. The main issue that I really have is this Impaler thing. Castle Mania seems really weird. Just three more castles, so... We would have to get, yeah, three more counties, basically. But we are bordering the Golden Horde, so... Honestly, why not swear fealty to them? And just grow under their banner. Gives us protection against all these others and them as well. I don't think we have to be an independent ruler, do we? Have as many dukes in your realm of your dynasty as you can. Bastards do not count. Doesn't sound like we need to be independent for this, so... Alright, let's check through the most important things for now. So we have two kids, which is good. Both lack of focus, which isn't all that great. Uh, let's make her thrifty and our son and heir will go for struggle. Why not? We'll restrict the marriages for all of them. And... Um, Special minor titles, designated regent goes probably to our wife. 
or she doesn't like us, so it's going to be our spy master. This guy here, court jester, we don't need. We'll just try and placate all those vassals we would like to pay tribute to us. Our tutor will be. Oh boy. Probably him. He's at least something. And the commanders aren't all that great. Council is fine. Let's check our succession law. Agnatic, cognatic, gavel kind. So there's a chance of breaking up internally, which we don't like. Ultimogenitur, we, f we are far away from there. We don't have tanistry, which we could go for. We could go for seniority. Uh, what is our... Okay, we are at legalism high enough, so... Our council ain't empowered, so we can go to legalism 3 immediately. And that would open us the door to primogeniture in around 10 years. We don't exactly know. Probably from... 1310 on to 1320. Alright, so what should our focus be? We're pretty good at war and we're already on the skull tactician, so we're going to go for war for the time being. Our ambition, we don't want to groom an heir. Uh, let us build a war chest. I really don't want to be invaded by the Golden Horde. Oh, he is the suzerain of what? Bulgar. These guys. I mean, right now we're the anvil between... The gold. I don't know where they might be looking to turn their ambitions. Declare war for you. Something, anything. Could create a duchy title, which we of course can't. And we need a crown focus, so we'll put it down here. If we are part of the Golden Horde, we can fight against his vassals and grow like that. And we would be pretty impervious to outside attack. And every time they switch a ruler, we could break free again. We do lose a whole bunch of income, I think. Of which we don't have all that much anyway. Hmm. Let's see, who has a claim on our stuff? No one. Kingdom of Valachia is fine. Our house does not seem to have anyone except for us. So that's all right. Let's just start and see what happens. We might... Might want to force a tributary over here. Come on, let's do it. Let's extort some tribute. Or... Let's fabricate claims up here. Let's send support. This guy collects taxes here. This guy leads troops over here. And who's weaker than us? 13,000. 6,000. 6,000. 3,800. So it's only really these two. And we could go for Duke Edin. Give any pacts. Only non aggression. Don't have a thousand prestige. I don't understand why that is that expensive anyway. How much does this cost us? Gold and piety like crazy, which we don't have.
We attack them and we become a little bit more powerful. Let's just try it. I mean, if we get instant insta overwhelmed with enemies approaching, I have to deal with it. I feel like they'll jump onto something. Yeah, there. We are pretty okay. Let us lead this defense. But they have changed their mind. What? In exchange for putting the... Okay, yeah. Good. So he becomes our... tributary. No need for bloodshed. That was quick and easy and painless for everyone involved. Travels of Marco Polo. This doesn't it, it doesn't feel centered. Like I think it would be here if it were centered. What do I know? Got for Castile. Here, who are you fighting? Defending against Prince Buri of Bulgaria. Are you no, you're Serbia. Who's Bulgaria? Bulvia. How many trips do these even have? 5,000. Oh, that's not weak. Uh, what happened here? He swore fealty to them. My grasp. No, we're not going to pay for advancements in medicine. Very interesting. The old tributary just swore fealty to a neighboring realm, getting out of his duties. how rich our chancellor is not a very but he has 50 gold how much is it to bribe 50 or more or less could be 50 but he's a count so 50 doesn't sound too weird could build something up or we just wait and build more castles. But yeah. Which we can't because we need a temple first. Because you need one of each per county. Otherwise, let's turn off the news from China. They're so far away, they don't matter to us. I mean, they're pretty big though. I don't think they matter to us. Golden Horde is much more immediate as a threat. We're a little bit landlocked. Nothing much we will be able to do for a good while. We could extort tribute from them, but I'd rather have them as a vassal. What is the du jour area of my place here? Oh, okay, so this stuff over there belongs to us. So if we join the Golden Horde, we could expand north. We could also start this war, but we would go not just against 
these guys, but against the whole Gordon, Golden Horde. So I think becoming part of the Golden Horde is actually our best option right now. Because this will go away after a while. After 100 years, the jour stuff changes. So let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. He might revoke our title immediately. That would be a bit of a shame. But they are engaged in battle right now anyway. So we can just go ahead and start pushing our claims. Shame we can't push for everything. Is there anything that has a castle already? Yeah, several things. Let's see if there's more than one castle in these. This one has two. This one doesn't have any. So we'll go for this one first. Elgorod. is losing that battle over there so we can just move all our troops here because he's going to flee in a moment now that we're a vassal here let's see if we can't get the betrothal up with someone ah very good so he is what five the three old one then gives us a non-aggression pact and potentially an alliance that would be nice Let's also try with Kiev. Maybe the daughter. Ah, very good. Wow. Theodora would gain 1,344 prestige from marrying into this house. Crazy stuff. out of this and another alliance so now we could call them into battle in case it were needed we'll just have to take this piece by piece I think he holds everything he doesn't have a duchy or anything have a strong claim on this which he is currently fighting over anyway but I don't think he's going to win this battle I wish to lead And we are indeed in charge of the siege. Uh, our liege, the humble Kagan, has greatly decided to adopt the Catholic faith. As his court chaplain, I would suggest that you consider doing the same. Sure, let's become Catholic. That's fine by us. Definitely need a coronation ceremony though. Um, yes, we will pledge our troops to the Holy Crusade, of course. And we need to select the beneficiary, which can't we don't have anyone viable for it we are now part of this crusade here good stuff our wife does approve i think we have the bulgarians here with us That's fine. I'm not going to push down against a thousand, almost two thousand troops. Not even with the Bulgarians are at our back. 
They really need to go defend their own lands. I don't think we'll be able to contribute much to the crusade with the war that we have going on. Idle council members. Right, let's put our guide to improve relationships, the religious ones, with the papacy. We will just stay here fighting our war. We'll just siege through this. Maybe fight him once he's beaten. I'll help you in your war. Exactly know who you're fighting. These guys there. Okay, the Bulgarians have beaten the... What are you even? Moldovans. Yes, converted to Christianity as well. Ah, we will be a center leader. I think we'll siege everything down before we engage here. Oh, he's pretty weakened right now. Let's fight him in his weakened stage. He's going to come and siege our capital. I don't want him to regain his strength. It should go without a river crossing, so it does. So, um, what's our troop composition? Let's see. Heavy infantry is the majority. What's the terrain like? Uh, I don't think it's hilly. Let's go for heavy infantry leader. That's good enough. So he has one flank still standing. But we've taken him and we could become proud or humble. Become proud. And we upgrade our tactician rank as well. Move our troops. Or do we pursue? I think we'll pursue. Dance. My beneficiary gets all the titles, but I don't have one, so... I think we're going to attack into mountains unless we arrive before him. That would be... Very unfortunate for him. Oh no, he's over there. He'll probably try and retake this here. Let's try and become chaste, maybe. On too many kids. Let's go continue the siege down here. I do not want to be your commander, no thing. We're contributing not a single thing to the crusade, and thus we will get exactly nothing out of it. I want to send like a very small contingent so we get something. Let's split around a little bit. So we get like... 200. 200 is what we're going to send down. And the rest will stay here. Let's see if he's going to try and catch my 200 out in the field. Why am I leading the 200? right and be led by this guy yeah I should if I should fight them again even if it's just to protect the 200 moving south 
Then I just gotta find an army to attach to. So I get a few points down there. Successfully. Are they fleeing to here? No, they're fleeing further. Dessa and beyond. Olvia. How strong is our home? Not very. Because we've raised all our troops. Oh no, another sun. So once he's locked in into his movement, we're going to go attack. What are you? Mongol revolt. No. I don't wish to be part of that. Now he's locked in. Now we move in on him again. War score through battles is not capped yet, so we can still gain a little bit of prestige out there. And these guys have stopped moving because I didn't send them anywhere far enough. How's Crusade going anyway? 44%, so it's almost over. They rarely need to go above like 70-80% to be won. We're winning over here. Solid stuff. Let's go back to sieging what we came for. There's only one thing left, so. I think that would be pretty neat. We can arrive in time to partake in this glorious, completely balanced battle. Ah, no. Okay, let's just attach to this and, and hope that our troops contribute something. Anything. They have diminished so far that they won't be able to really siege anything of ours, which is good. So he just has to sit it out. Our troops have so far still not done a single thing. But I'm hopeful that eventually they might take part in a siege or something. I just want something. It doesn't matter what exactly I get out of it, I just want something. I don't want to leave with nothing. Also, I should probably assign myself leader of this army down there so we become crusader. Sounds good. Uh, but first, load our slot one filter and see if maybe we can find a siege guy. No, that's a shame. But we can invite this center leader here. There's our top super mega army down here. Are we a crusader now? charge of this army. Um, we will bury the crusaders, not everyone. And we attached again. Might become part of this battle here. Oh, now arrive. He was Volt, and we have become a Crusader. And we will also partake in a actual. No. Yes, finally. We have arrived to actually do battle. Lovely stuff. We have become zealous. All that we wanted out of this little excursion, so we can now become this guy again. Don't have a court physician? That is a travesty. This guy will be it. And... 
We can create this duchy title. But I really don't feel like creating it. We'd just be losing it anyway. What would we be losing? The chiefdom of Targu. This, our main seat. In just 10 years, we can take care of all that. But we want our dynasty to get these titles anyway. No. Okay, so we're finally getting something out of it. It's not a lot, but we're getting something out of it. And that's all what I needed. Some gold. Being, being completely empty-handed from a crusade is just the, the worst, wrongest feeling in the absolute world. We are siege leading here. Actually sieging all on our own. How do we have enough people with just 200? That's amazing. Very well. Praise God. We'll just stand these down. We lose a bunch, but I don't have to... I don't wish to walk them back. Our war chest is built right in the midst of the war. And we will likely be done here. In just a moment as well. Vision. Bolted among men. Nah. Try and make a friend. Usually better. On win the siege. We've taken everything here. Now we can go attack them directly again. You contend with a Crusader King, my friend. I really like Crusader, it's such a good trait. Oh, yeah. Very good, improved relations. Can we get a claim on this? We're not crowned on anything, so not ideal. And 99% should tick up to 100 in a moment. Yeah, there we go. This is now ours. Good, let's stand down our troops. We were just transferred the High Chiefdom. Well, if that isn't something. So all this is ours now. This is us. Well, okay then. He's not gonna be happy with any of this. Can we get a title to revoke this? Can we get him dead? Not a lot of people willing to join us. This guy is my vassal now. Can I get a claim, please? We need, we need to be crowned. And that concludes the first challenge of Castlevania. Thank you for watching. <laughs> it 
Okay, well, that's the first one. So it's super simple. You just need to join the Golden Horde, go north, conquer one piece of his, and that is good, totally good. I mean, that was my plan all along. There was no way that this was accidental in any way, shape, or form, or anything. That was absolutely my plan from the start. No question about it. How could we kill him, ideally? Change his council position. Be our marshal. I don't know if he's good at that at all, but it doesn't matter. This guy we kick out for this guy. And you go ahead and get discovered. Oh yeah, why not in the Yuan Empire somewhere down there? Enjoy. Good luck. Don't don't die or anything. This guy goes range here. Because with him alive, we're going to have quite the time of trying to change our succession law. Hello, yes, please. Ah, we are still at war in the north here. We could raise our own holding troops, which would now be quite a few more thanks to Belgorod. Let's build these up first. Let's see. We have the least. All of these are pretty depleted. Uh, chancellor. Sure. I'll be your chancellor. That's fine. Alright, so I think next thing that we really need to aim for is a coronation. But I'm really happy with this. That was very unforeseen. Now we can try and get this title away from him. We could actually create more titles. Giving us claims down here. Yeah, that's good. We'll create this one. Duchy of Bessarabia. And people won't like it. <laughs> but now we should be able to get revocation things. No. Okay, well, we'll deal with all this uh, next time around. I'm not too fussed with the realm shattering. That's okay. If we lose this, that's perfectly fine by me. Okay, we have a dangerous faction at home. Obviously, we do. And your plotting boy. I should probably set the plotting stuff to auto stopping all right uh yeah thanks for being here and see you guys around next time i, I need my spy master doing this not standing over there yeah see you around next time